and says I'm live. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Glad to be back. <laughs> Let's see here what I can tell you. Get to the top of my material here. Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for January 1st. January 1st is the first day of the calendar in the Gregorian, first day of the year in the Gregorian calendar. There are 364 days remaining to the end of the year, 365 in leap years. This day is known as New Year's Day since this day marks the beginning of the year. January 1st is the last day of Kwanzaa and the eighth day of the 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> if I remember correctly, the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight maids of milking. The song then goes on to reiterate all the other things previously received, such as seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> and I always wondered, did they give all of those previous things every day? So, like, did the person end up with 12 partridges in a pear tree, or were they just reiterating all the things that they already got? I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Today's word is primary. Primary can be a noun, an adjective, or a verb. As a noun, primary means something that is first in order, rank, or importance. In U.S. politics, a primary is a preliminary election in which parties nominate candidates for political offices, party offices, and so on. There are several different kinds of election primaries, and as a noun, I have an extra word in there. So we already discussed as a noun. So the next one is, let me erase noun, because now we're going to talk about primary as an adjective. As an adjective, primary means first or highest rank or importance, chief, principal, such as one's primary goals in life. It can also mean the first in order in any series, sequence, etc. Primary can also mean first in time, earliest or primitive. As a verb, primary can mean to challenge or oppose an incumbent in a primary election. An incumbent is someone who's already holding an elected office, so there's a bonus word for you. <laughs> Let's see here. When a new person comes along and wants to run against that person, they're looking to primary the incumbent. Alrighty, let's move on to some things that have happened on January 1st that we know about. On January 1st, in the year 153 BC, Roman consuls began their year in office on January 1st for the first time. In the year 45 BC, the Julian calendar took effect as the civil calendar of the Roman Empire, established in January first, established January 1st as the new date of the new year. On January 1st, in the year 42 BC, the Roman Senate posthumously deified Julius Caesar. That means they declared him a god, we're going to say with a lowercase g, uh, granting him the title of Divus Julius, Is it Divus or Divus Julius, the divine deified Julius. Julius Caesar was the first historical Roman to be officially deified. The appearance of a comet during games in his honor was taken as a confirmation of his divinity. Though his temple was not dedicated until after his death, he may have received divine honors during his lifetime and shortly before his assassination. Antony had been appointed as his priest. Both Octavian and Antony promoted the cult of Divus Julius. After the death of Caesar, Octavian, as the adoptive son of Caesar, assumed the title of Divi Phil Phileus, Divi Phileus, son of the divine. This is the birthday of Italian politician and patron of the arts, Lorenzo de Medici. I think he was in a banking family, may have been in banking too. He's sort of 
not the very end of that dynasty, but nearing the end of that dynasty. He was born January 1st, 1449. Lorenzo's court included artists such as Piero and Antonio del Pollaiolo, a lot of vowels together there, Andrea del Verrocchio, Ver, yeah, Verrocchio, Leonardo da Vinci, Sandro Botticelli, Domenico Ghirlandio, <laughs> some of these names I'm not familiar with, and Michelangelo Buonarroti, who were instrumental in achieving the 15th century Renaissance. The artist Michelangelo lived with Lorenzo and his family for three years, dining at the family table and participating in discussions. Although Lorenzo did not commission many works himself, he did help these artists to secure commissions from other patrons. Lorenzo de Medici, born January 1st, 1449. Portuguese explorer Pedro Alvarez Cabral discovered the coast of Brazil on January 1st, 1500. And on January 1st, 1502, the present-day location of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, was first explored by the Portuguese. Scotland recognized January 1st as the start of the year instead of March 25th, beginning in 1600. Now, with the advent of credit cards, debit cards, plastic of all kinds, plastic payment cards, you don't see this next item very much anymore, but uh, I mean, even if they still exist, I don't know. But there used to be a thing called traveler's checks. There were sort of like a prepaid card, only it was a prepaid check. You would go to a bank or I've gotten them at AAA before. Anyway, you would exchange cash for these traveler's checks, and they would come in increments of, I don't know, $25, $50, They were kind of between a check and a cash, like a prepaid check. You didn't have to worry about overspending it. You know, it was only good for as much as, as its value. The very first traveler's checks were issued by the London Credit Exchange Company on January 1st, 1772, and they could be used in 90 European cities. Safer than cash, lighter in weight than silver or gold traveler's checks. The hymn that later came to be known as Amazing Grace was first used to accompany a sermon led by John Newton in the town of Olney, Buckinghamshire, England, on January 1st, 1773. The first American college football bowl game, the Rose Bowl, was held in Pasadena, California, on January 1st, 1902. This was between Michigan and Stanford, and it looks like Michigan won that one. Something like 49 to 0, if I remember correctly. <laughs> Skunk that one is what they did. All right. The Republic of China was established on January 1st, 1912. Now, that's different from what it is now. It's the People Re People's Republic. The People's Republic of China now. That was established in October of 1949. And if I remember, perhaps we could talk about it again when that rolls around. Anyway, the, um, this day, the Republic of China, January 1st, 1912. Cigarette advertisements were banned on American television, effective January 1st, 1971. A thing called ARPANET officially changed to using TCP slash IP, the Internet Protocol, effectively creating the internet on January 1st, 1983. The World Trade Organization came into being on January 1st, 1995. Governments used the organization to establish, revise, and enforce rules that govern international trade. All righty. Well, my goodness, there is a lot more to talk about today, but I think that's enough for now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and for your patience, loyalty, and dedication as I've been gone for this about a month and a half. 
Mr. Bowers and I got married in uh, 2019, and we have been in the process of combining our households. And uh, I got to tell you that when I was much younger, I thought that the idea of having multiple households sounded glamorous and exotic. <laughs> my thoughts on it now are, oh my, it's more stuff to take care of and look after and worry about. So uh, we decided to go ahead and clear out my house and get me moved all the way in with him and get unloaded out of that other house. And it's finally empty and clean and ready for the next family. So I hope they love that house as much as I have. And that's all for today. I hope each and every one of you have a most excellent 2022. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. And now we're going to go look for that thank you very much button right there. And thank you very much.